Hi, my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website, and uh, I'm also the author of the Kingdom Living series and the Kingdom Living Bible Study course, which is due out soon. And today I want to go over um, something that God showed me the other day, and I think it's pretty neat. It's about the parable of the sower in um, Matthew uh, 13. It says that it's been given to us to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but them, that, to them it's not been given. And then it goes down here and it tells about the parable. Okay. Therefore, hear the parable of the sower. Whoops. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom, okay, notice the parable of the sower is about the kingdom of God and does not understand that the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. And this is he who received it by the wayside. When he who receives it on the stony place, this is him who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, but he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulations or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. Now he who received the seed among the thorn is he who hears the word and the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, choke off the word and he becomes unfruitfulness unfruitful but he receives the seed on good ground as he who hears the word understands it and bears fruit and so on so what I wanted to go over with you really quick is first of all um, when somebody doesn't understand about the sower sowing the world the word and the kingdom uh, first of all the kingdom is all about sowing words sowing and reaping the word of God and the wicked one comes to take away the word that was sown so that you can't walk in power and authority in the kingdom because the kingdom is supernatural power and it's in you then the second thing I want to point out is uh, the person who has no root in themselves endure for a while but when tribulations and persecutions arise for the works word's sake he stumbles in other words if they learn about healing then Satan's gonna come and he's going to um, put sickness and disease on them uh, because he's gonna say see God's Word doesn't work and that is uh, tribulations and persecutions my kitty cats are playing back there. Uh, tribulations and persecutions come from the wicked one. And the reason they come is because he wants to show you the word doesn't work. Just like he challenged Adam and Eve in the garden. And say that God's a liar. And basically that's what he says. Uh, immediately he stumbles. Then the third thing I want to point out to you is the those who receive among the thorns. And the cares of this world is the thorns. That Jesus took the crown on his head so we wouldn't have cares in this world. Um... So, um, the cares of the world, the deceitfulness of riches, they choke off the word, and he becomes unfruitful. Now, what I want to point out to you most of all is that when these people mess up, Jesus didn't say, uh-oh, you're going to hell, you messed up, okay? He didn't say, you know, you're bad, you know, you need to repent of that, you need to get right with God, or you're going to go to hell. He didn't say that. He says when tribulations and the per persecution happens because the word, the person stumbles. And he didn't say, you know, okay, you sinned last night. You know, that's what tribulations and persecution. Stumbling is missing the mark. Stumbling is doing wrong. Stumbling is um, maybe you didn't obey something God told you to do. Or you didn't obey what you thought you were supposed to do. Okay, well, when you stumble, Jesus doesn't cast you out. He doesn't say you're on your way to hell. And right here, those who are more concerned about the cares of the world and getting rich, the deceitfulness of riches, he 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 doesn't chastise them. He doesn't he doesn't scold them. He doesn't uh, say bad things about them. He just says they become unfruitful. So when you're doing things you shouldn't be doing, you're unfruitful. And the cares of the world, the deceitfulness of riches, and one of the other scriptures says um, in Mark, I believe it says, and um, the cares of this world, deceitfulness of riches, and um, something else. There was a third thing. I don't remember it right now. Uh, he becomes unfruitful. Uh, so, because you mess up, because you're persecutor, you go through tribulations, uh, whatever you hear in the word, and the devil attacks you to try to prove it wrong. It, right here in this scripture, it shows you that, that Jesus' goal isn't to attack you, correct you, and say you did it wrong. His goal is to teach you to be fruitful. And 
you're fruitful when you have good ground that's good your ground and soil and his word is seed and when you put the seed in when you hear and you have understanding faith comes from hearing and hearing the word so you want to hear the word you want to have it in front of your face in front of your eyes and you want to hear the the word and you want to become fruitful when whenever you get into sin um you in your own mind be cause yourself to become unfruitful so you need to get into the word uh, and hear the word but also you know the devil causes you to be unfruitful because he's gonna put it back on you he's gonna say look, look what you did last night you don't deserve this you deserve sickness because you did this or you deserve this and that's how the devil operates he wants to take away from you what Jesus freely gave you because his blood paid for it and so uh, I just wanted to show you a different angle of uh, the sower that sows the word something that got shared with me the other day uh, that he isn't out there correcting and say bad 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 he's saying do this and you'll be fruitful so my name is Robin Bremer uh, my website is robinbremer.net check out my books they're awesome not because I wrote them because the Holy Spirit wrote them and he I'm so glad he used me to write them because they're so good they are really great to to get walking in God's presence and God's power and dominion and authority and being the supernatural person that God created you to be be the, the books are so good because they help you to walk in power in your ministry and in your personal life it helps you to walk in peace in God's presence so I'll talk to you tomorrow